Nigerians need to seek divine intervention for God to end insecurity. Buhari, welcome to news and please subscribe to our channel. Buhari disclosed this while speaking on Saturday on the national prayer session for the country organized by Kano State Government. President Muhammad Buhari has said that Nigerians need to seek divine intervention for God to bring an end to insecurity and other challenges for revenge in the country. This, I'm going to say, I'm not going to be sentimental here. This is a kind of telling you people that they have actually exhausted all they need to be. Sincerely. They have actually exhausted all resources. That is what it is sounding. People will say, oh yes, the God factor. While I am still going to say, okay, without excluding the God factor, but for them to come out openly and say this sincerely, how I interpret it is that these people are actually out of ideas. I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm the only one saying it in this statement now. For you to be the president of a country, the one who called the shots, the one who actually made decisions, <laughs> is saying a lot. In fact, Buhari's speech on the New Year's Day, it opened many Nigerians' eyes to a lot of friends. The fact that this man has dementia, the man that it is possible that the man has not been the one making the decisions that are, or policies that have been actually thrown out. A lot of things where if you, if you are someone who is very, very, um, who sees things as in, who is very, very, uh, who reading between lies and see how things actually happen, as in, see how, how am I going to put in now? How he speaks, how he talk, how he answers questions, you will not be able, you will be able to see that, see you. Some of the things that maybe have been happening in this country, it is, there is a very possibility, very big possibility that this man is not even aware of these things happening. The way he talks, the way he replies to questions, a lot of things, the way he answered, like, you know, he has forgotten what it was asked him or he's saying something off the question that was asked of him. Sincerely, it is seeming that in that direction. For me, in this particular um, um, statement, what I see is that I am, um, I have tried on my best and it's not working i will have to leave it in the hands of god that is what i'm saying and it is not supposed to be heard from a president you came and said you won this particular position uh, news have been going around that you know some people are actually coming out to say oh buhari was begged they pleaded with him and i'm saying they should make it and they should make it open who pleaded with him they were saying nigerians begged buhari that this and this and that and that and they begged him to come into power and i'm saying wow they should actually make it um, they specify the persons. It is not all Nigerians, sincerely. It is not all Nigerians that voted for him or voted him in. So on this one, I sincerely, me, I think, or what I what I get is that he's communicating that he's actually, you know, out of ideas, and of course he's going to be needing one or two help. Okay, on this, let, let's let's listen to the rest of the news. The news in detail. Buhari disclosed this while speaking on Saturday at the National Prayer Session for the country organized by Kano State Government. Represented by Mustafa Babai, Minister of State for Agriculture, the President said his administration had been making significant effort to overcome the security challenges but well in the country. He stated that the Nigerian government has also supported security personnel with equipment and quality welfare. He said, despite the support, there is a need to seek divine intervention for the Almighty to bring an end to the challenges. I am very happy with this initiative. Indeed, Gandhija is doing well in securing Kanu and have given his quota to achieving peace in the country at large. No doubt Nigeria is facing security challenges and we are doing our best to support the security personnel. That does not mean we should not seek divine intervention. This prayer session is part of the intervention, and I commend the state governor for this. The same Gandhi J that we are hearing of how he actually, you know, went and did a lot of, sincerely, there is a question mark in his name. If you have been following the news, Gandhi J has been in the news for actually going to a particular missionary, let's say missionary um, um, orphanage and taking children and Islamizing the children. <laughs> ah, sincerely, this country. We keep hearing things at a new level on a, on a daily basis. Like, if you think you have seen it all, when you hear another one, you'll be like, your shock absorber, if he is not taken, is going to be broken. Okay. 
Africans and religion. Yeah, the continent is ragged and always begs to feel her citizens. This part, being blessed with so many resources. Do we know why? Because we are faced with a clueless, <laughs> with clueless and illiterate census leaders. Rulers, but not leaders. <laughs> okay. But you didn't ask for God intervention when you were campaigning in 2014. Nigerians are going to come out and say this. This is not the time to be sentimental sincerely. People are dying on a daily basis and you come out and you say this. No. Nigerians did not vote for divine intervention. Just like Israel and Saudi Arabia, their own leaders knows what it takes to be a leader. You can resign so as divine being, so as, so let divine being can lead us now. 200 people who was killed in Zamfara State on Friday and the North remain silent. Nobody is now a failure and incompetent. Sorry, Baba. It is very wrong. You say about that 200 sincerely, it is heart-wrenching. It is heart-wrenching that things like this continues to happen. I don't even know. We are no longer hearing about the North is bleeding if that campaign is still holding water. Or as usual, it has died down. Sincerely, I feel the Northerners, they are in darkness. The moment they come out of the light, I don't think they're going to be seeing the Southerners as the problem. They will see that they themselves are the problem. When I mean they, I mean their elites. Their elites are actually the problem. Tell me how things like this will continue to happen and people will go to protest on the road that you keep arresting them. Sincerely, how? People are dying and you're arresting the ones that are, that are, that are, that are actually coming out to protest. Meanwhile, people are actually killing people, raping people, maiming people, burning down houses and making people, giving people trauma for their lives. And all those people get is, you know, threats on a daily basis. The, the military threatens them, you're going to do this, and the government threatens them, this will happen and that will happen. Go after the bandits. And sincerely, this is not, we don't need religion in this kind of a setting at all. I've said it before that what this means is like this man is actually out of idea. And if he's out of idea, good and fine. He's not going to be recorded as a coward. He's going to be recorded as somebody who says he has done all he could and he did not, was not able to, you know, to stop the insecurity from happening. That is what it is going to mean. That exactly is what it is going to mean. So him coming out now to say we should pray, there is no problem. All we need is actually, if you're tired and you're no longer thinking anything can work, please, honorable resign. It is going to be in the map of history that he resigned rather than allow the killings to happen under his watch. You failed in 1983 and nothing has changed. Our sin is that we don't read history. If not, nobody will ever vote for you. That is the truth. That is, the, that is my problem. We don't read history and history is also not made available. I am still, be, I am still crying out that history be put back in academic board. And you know, everybody has, as in, history is made to be on our fingertips so that if you want to get to history, if you want to know what happened, you can know. I keep saying, if the northerners see the light, which is education, if they see the light, they are not going to see the southerners as the problem. Rather, they will know that their own elites are actually the problem. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the niche. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy your rest of your day.